Hey, it's John, and I wanted to share my experience of letting go of, I guess, things that I no longer need in my life. And this video will be about my studio, um, my home studio. Sorry, Patch, my little dog is. Hello, Patch. Hello. Um, he's so cute. Uh, yeah, we're we're downsizing our house, and so I'll be letting go of this this beautiful studio. And I really wanted to, first of all, just acknowledge and appreciate the space, give you a little bit of a tour, and share a bit about how I'm feeling about that process. And yeah, my gratitude and excitement for the future. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, let's do a quick tour because that'll help explain a bit about how I'm feeling. Um, so. I'm going to stand up. So this was when we first moved into this house. Um, this was built as a Zumba dance studio. And so it has a, a cool floor. Um, actually, it's a very hot floor. It is, uh, it is heated. So it's electric heated, which is amazing. And there is also, as you can see behind me, there is a wall of mirrors. And the, that wall is, it's great fun. <laughs> it's funny because when I'm over here, so every day when I'm doing a song, so um, I'll show you the stuff in a minute, but when I'm, I'm over here doing a song, all I can see down there is like, uh, I don't know if you can see me in the distance, um, it's like a reflection of myself. So I'm always kind of like, <laughs> just staring at this, this mirror image. Um, and yes, yeah, so let's just show you, let's go one, one space at a time. Uh, so when I moved in, um, I really just started to gradually fill it with music equipment and I started off with a mixing desk. It was a, it was a previous one to this one. Um, it was a Tascam uh, 32, I think it's called, um, which is quite old. I think even then it was about five years old um, and it's quite basic, but I, I've moved on a bit since then. It's been, been a great journey. Um, so yeah, I have an electric drum kit, which is, I can never remember its name. Um, Carlsbro. Carlsbro. So it's a great, it's great fun to play. I started learning um, four years ago, uh, three, three, maybe three years ago when I, when I first moved in, I didn't have a drum kit and then I just started to practice more and more and started bringing in songs. I'm not the world's best drummer, but I'm the best drummer in my band. <laughs> um, there's some gym, gym equipment. Uh, this came with us from the previous house. Uh, this is staying because I don't really use it that much. Um, I use the, I guess these are like curls or a bit like when you're lifting, um, I don't know the term for these things, but uh, when, you're, when you're lifting weights, I, I use that, but I'm just gonna use um, bands or just buy, uh, buy one. Um, this is the uh, famous um, pull-up bar, which I hung upside down for, I'm not sure I'd do that again, and did an upside down song. Please do check that out. It's super fun. Uh, not recommended. <laughs> at least I, at least I survived. Um, the mirrors. Uh, I, I, I've been practicing handstands for like years, um, inspired by MJ from All to Love, and I can stand like against the wall. I won't do it now, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's that's been great. And and you can see, I don't really just clean the glass a little bit. Um, it's quite fun in video. It looks like it's not there. Uh, sofas. So this 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 thing we actually bought new just before we realized we were going to sell our house. Um, so we're going to take this to our new house, which is great. It's going to go in a bedroom, I think. Um, it has like a lazy boy. So that's really cool. And we got it like really um, got it much cheaper because uh, it was like the display model and it's in great condition. So grateful for that. Two sofas here. Um, these are staying. So our, the new owners will 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 get these, which is great. And it, it's been great because we've had um, you can sit there. <laughs> And then look at all our, you know, musicians playing like me, 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 me. And um, when we have family over, often I uh, like the kids will play with the music and stuff. And um, I'll, I'll, I'm just going to sit there a little bit terrified. They're going to break everything, um, but sit quietly and patiently. Um, so that's a beautiful process. Um, we have some storage. So we have been busy clearing this out. Uh, it was full of like paint and all kinds of stuff. And so I really slimmed it down. The only thing I've got left is... Um, showing some demons in my closet. Um, I still have a couple of boxes of wires and, uh, and, and stuff. This is often for when I'm playing live music. I have like just boxes set up I can just lift and take away. 
Then this thing you're probably used to seeing a lot. Um, this is the uh, sheet. So I just use um, uh, sheets that you, you can buy from Amazon and this stand uh, you can also buy at different sizes and it, and it adjusts. And so I usually use different colors like um, I have like a white one, a black one, a green screen, which I don't use so much now, especially as technology's moved on a bit. You don't really need to rely on it so much. I often use blending and um, there's other like AI uh, tools that help remove it. And then I've got like some of my other sheets um, that I use for, for backgrounds, which are, which are really nice. Definitely a collection. Um, you never have enough guitars, never have enough crystals and never have enough background sheets. Um, and then here, this setup, uh, I'm going to have to shrink this down a bit. So there's two big lights, which I usually adjust uh, for when I'm standing or sitting. Um, this is where I put my, my camera on for recording video. And this computer, well, I only use it really, the main reason I set up was for the drums. So the drums don't sound amazing electrically. And so I connect them through MIDI, through USB into my computer here. And then from the computer into the uh, mixing desk. And so all I'm really doing is just allowing the computer when you hit a, uh, a drum to play a sound sample um, through MIDI on the computer and then that plays onto the mixing desk. And then the mixing desk, which is phenomenal, um, it is huge. It's bigger than I need. Um, this Model 24 and it's, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, it, what I love is that it has great reverbs and so you can change um, reverb as you're mixing it down at the end. So often if I'm, I'm singing a song like you know, like doing it like a high note. Um, I'll just I'll just increase the reverb just a little bit so that it, it adds that kind of echoey effect to um, to vocals. So enjoy that. And the fact that you can plug in so many things, like at the moment I have this like a looping pedal where I go, where I tap in my feet um, to give me like a timer uh, as, I, as I'm playing along. Uh, and I usually remove it in, in the song itself. My acoustic guitar, uh, vocals, backing vocals, these are for old drums. I've never done anything about it, so they're just still connected. Um, this is the um, vocals for when I'm doing backing, playing drums, and then this is the drums here. And that's it. And I just swap around the others. So, so when I put in my bass guitar, so let's show the guitars. I have a Lindo acoustic guitar, which I love the most. Um, and I, have, I love it so much. I've got two. I've got one in the Moto. There's a Schecter here, which you can see the back of, and then a bass guitar at the back. So all this tour to say, <laughs> um, what I wanted to get to was the emotion of letting this go. Uh, I just feel so blessed. It's so huge. Um, it's just this massive space. And it's like twice as big as I need. Um, it's warm. It's safe. It's, it's, it's a beautiful space. And I also, oh, and I mustn't forget, I meditate here. So I medit meditate here every morning. And I've written a hundred and four albums here in, in this room. And so this will always, my first 104 albums, <laughs> and this will always hold such a special space in my heart. And I'm letting it go because I just don't need this size of space. And another family will love it so much, um, especially the, the, the family and the kids. And they'll use the space for storage and fun and whatever, whatever they want to do. And I will have also a beautiful space in my new house. It won't be as big. Um, I suspect it'll be a quarter to half the space. It is a double garage. It's not fitted out like this. So it's literally just a, a garage where you drive your car into. Um, it'll need some work. Uh, it'll be cold when I first move in. There won't be any soundproofing. Um, there's a little bit here. And yeah, and I'm ready. I'm ready for that. I'm ready to let the space go. I'm ready to move on to the next stage in my uh, life. Um, that was a big spider, it's not. <laughs> uh, so I'm ready, ready to move on um, in my life to have the right size of place for me and my family where we can focus our energies on what we really need in our lives and have all this free money and time to spend on the things that we, we love doing. Um, so yeah. I'm loving working part-time, um, three days a week. Sometimes I'll work a little bit more. Like this week, I worked about three and a half, four, four days. Um, it's good to be flexible both ways. My, my work is very flexible. And yeah, this new life is so exciting. So just coming up for 10 minutes. Thank you so much. Sending my love from Scotland.